hello everyone so this is what we are going to open our work on today let me quit the sniper and to the silencer so now here you see if I shoot the operator of this searchlight you see the light turns up so this is to represent that no one is operating the searchlight so it just turns up you must have seen this same mechanism in games like Metal Gear Solid so that's why I'm implementing this so yeah let's see how to implement this today right now if you have played uh, games like Metal Gear Solid you might have noticed if I kill the operator of this searchlight uh, the light turns up uh, to represent that the operator is dead so um, no one needs the to operate so to represent that so I'm going to implement the same thing now so first we need a way to determine if the operator that is relevant for this searchlight is dead so how can we do that first let me open ls animan uh, damage death right death is here kill character do we have this kill character implemented in any other place this player and then any man right so this is the main place okay so now I need there are two ways that I can do this first method is I can create a variable inside the searchlight to reference whatever the relevant character and keep uh, keep checking if the character is dead like a polling blaze based event which is not something I've, I'd love to do because that kind of waste resources so therefore um, here again this implements BCLM BPI character I can open it here here I'll add a function subscribe to character events subscribe to character events and as an input I'll add Object reference. I'll call it subs. Now I'll implement it here. Um, do we need a category? now under interfaces and character events we have subscribed to character events so here i'll create a new variable character event subscribers we might be able to use this for other occasions too such as maybe other characters who are listening to this character things like that so 
set to object reference and this should be here an array get add add unique in case multiple times this function is called from the same uh, act now in the search light I'll add another variable I'll call it operator operator this also should be an actor and I'll make it public because I'm gonna need to assign that now in the begin play I'll get the operator convert to a validated gate and only if we have an operator the sweeping should happen okay so also I'll subscribe to character events of the operator as well as a reference I'll use self okay uh, now compile here I'll pick an operator this guy as the operator and for here this guy has the operator so another thing uh, yeah let's create a a now enumeration he oh we don't have a we don't have a, a special character in the beginning to uh, say it's an enumeration so therefore i'll just call it character events and then the only one that we need for now is on death no just death right now we need another interface i'll call it here are interfaces beep interfaces so oh, yeah I character event this now on character event uh, maybe not on let's call it notify character event and as an input we need character event this right I'll call it event now uh, here when the character die that means in the kill character I'll uh, a lot of things are happening I'll add a function um, here in the base I'll add a function notify list as okay now what I need to do is get the character event subscribers and for each subscriber we need to notify the event so notify character event on through this ppi character event listener and the event i'll promote it as a variable like this so we need to notify all the actors that has subscribed to character events now when the character die that 
means here. I'll call notify character event. Oh no. Notify listeners. And the event is dead. Later on, we will have mm, more events, but for now, I only have death. Okay, now we have a way to notify listeners, but we need to implement a listener interface in the searchlight, otherwise, nothing would happen. So and uh, interfaces API character event listener and now under interfaces I have notify character event and here we can check if the event is death because we are subscribing to the operator and if the event is death that means the operator is dead so branch if this is true we should stop sweeping and then i'll just unmark operator no i'll set operator as null so that means we no longer have an operator so now mm -hmm. I'll add another function called disable so this should simply rot rotate the light up that means this something like this 30 so we can get the search light and call new component to we don't need to change the location so get relate location and rotation like this so I never listen Then here we need to check if we have a valid operator. So this is the way we check if the operator is still alive. If valid, we can continue. Otherwise, well, let me collapse this to a macro. I'll call it check operator. And if it is valid, we don't have to do anything. If it is not valid, we can call disable. We have to check, do that check here. And here, before trying to turn the light. So here. because after this point it takes three seconds ah that's still fine even if the light rotates upward after three seconds it should be fine because die in the character sometimes can take three seconds so i guess that makes sense right now let's test this 
Now let me equip the sniper and enable the silencer. So me. Uh, by the way, I had uh, I had implemented a way to stabilize, and it's broken now. I need to re resolve that. See, now the light is up. So that represents it's broken. Maybe instead of thirty, we should have like sixty. Let's test. I do a leg shot. See, so the parita is dead. I do the same thing to this guy. Cool. Okay, so that's all I want to do for today. Now you might be wondering why did I why I simply did not do this check operator and check if it is if he's dead or not here but the reason is uh, this is not uh, just for this situation this uh, listening to other characters subscribing to their events is not just for this situation this gonna be useful for in whole lot of other situations as well so which we will come to in future episodes so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye